Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing that you do when you want to do your makeup is put on some primer. Right now my face is bare, there's nothing on there. Um, I washed my skin like earlier. But yeah, so right now I'm just looking for my primer. Oh my gosh, I think I ran out. Eh? Yo, I ran out of primer. It's okay though, because I'm not really going anywhere right now. But for future reference, when y'all do your makeup, please put on some primer. Especially if you're going out. Like, you want your makeup to last. But, um... Alright, so hold up. My lips is kind of dry, so I'm gonna put on some lip gloss. I mean, they're not really dry, but I just want them to be a little bit moisturized. Does lip gloss even moisturize your lips? Cause I saw on Twitter, it was like, oh, I don't know who needs to hear this, but put Vaseline on your lips instead of lip gloss. And I was like, oh shit, okay, cool. Anyways, um, so right now I'm about to do my eyebrows. And I'm going to be using my ABH brow pomade. If y'all can see that. Ooh. It looks so much like my dad, y'all. And I'm just going to use that to fill in my brows. So, a lot of things I've learned while I've been, like, away from the channel. Um, this semester has really tried me. But I'm glad because... A concept I've been trying to um, deal with so far in my life is basically showing up for yourself. Like, instead of showing up for other people, instead of putting in so much work for other people's dreams and their goals, why don't you put, why don't you take some time off and just focus on yourself? You know, like, just take a step back. And I'm not saying you need to isolate isolate yourself or, like, you know cut everybody off but sometimes it just it's just like a thing of where you just gotta go MIA sometimes to just find yourself and that's something I'm getting more comfortable with like I've learned to really enjoy my own peace and my own um, enjoy my own peace and enjoy my own solitude you know and I've just really been just taking the word of God seriously you know and I'm trying to see how I can incorporate it into my channel. So right now I'm filling my brows with concealer. I mean, I'm concealing my brows with LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. I used to be the girl that would put like light ass concealer around my eyebrows. But my friends told me I need to stop doing that because it don't like it don't make my eyebrows look good you know and they was right please have friends that check that that check you okay when they tell you that hey this this shit you, you're doing you don't look right and i thought that i was i was i was mature and i could handle myself and stuff like that but this year showed me that i have a lot of toxic traits that i need to work out recently i saw this trend on YouTube where people would talk about their toxic traits. 
So I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna talk about them here in this video. Hee hee. But yeah, so, okay, so like one of my toxic traits is, like I forgive people easily, but I, I don't forget. And you see, the Bible always says forgive and forget. Like it's it's a, it's it's not like you just forgive, but you 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 make sure that you remember because when you do that to yourself, yeah, you forgave the person, but if like you don't forget what they did, whenever this the situation is brought back up again, like emotionally wise, you respond in a negative way. Like um, for example, like if I like something happened right between me and a person. And like one of my friends would bring up the person's name, like immediately my my whole, like my chest would just like close up. Like I would be like, ugh, I fucking hate that person. You know how? So which we realized that, bro, you ain't you ain't you ain't forgive this person yet. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, you might not think about it, you know, out of out of sight, out of mind. Like you might have blocked the person on everywhere and everything. Cool. But when the person's name is brought up and you are, you're like, Ugh. you know what I mean? Like, you still have negative emotions tied to that person's name. That's when you really know that you're not really over the situation. And that's something I, I was doing. Like, I'd be like, no, 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 you know, it's okay. I'm over it. You know, at least I don't see that person every day. Blah, blah, blah. But, like, as time went on, I realized that, bro, like, it's the time a person's name was brought up. Like, I would immediately just be like, ugh. You know, like, I just roll my eyes. And I was like, yeah, Priscilla, you need to work on that shit because you're not really over the situation like you claim that you are. Some people, they just don't think about how their actions affect other people. Don't seek out apology from other people or else you'll be stuck. Some people genuinely, they, some people know what they did is wrong, but they just won't apologize because like either they're too scared to or they want you to apologize first. And if you ever find yourself in a situation where you know you did something wrong, just apologize, you know? And it's okay to ask for space too, like, that's something I, I like to do. But if I ask you for space, it means that I respect you enough to be like, hey, look, you're crossing your boundaries too much with me and I don't want to spaz on you. So I'm gonna just take a time out from you for a little bit. So I'm going to be using my Morphe palette. This is in 25C and y'all, Y'all probably already saw this, but look. My nail. I slammed it on the door. That's like the worst paint ever. But do y'all see this palette? Do y'all see how this palette is screaming fall? Okay, then. This is my fall palette, y'all. So I'm going to be going in with this color right here. You can look at somebody and be like, bruh, like, I see so much potential in this person. I see how great this person can be. I want to I wanna help them. I want to encourage them. I want to be there for them as a friend. But if they don't see that, there's nothing you can't do. You can't change people. I was talking to a guy, no matter how terrible he was for me, I'll be like, nope, it's okay. God loves everybody. He can change everybody. And which is true. He can. You know, but if that person is not willing to change, there's absolutely nothing you can do, bruh. So after going in with that color, I'm gonna go in with this color right here. Loving somebody from a distance is okay, bruh. It's okay. Don't feel like you have to be in somebody's life 24 seven to love them. You don't. So many people that I love from a distance. I don't hate nobody. Because I don't want nobody to hate me. The energy that you give out is the energy that will come back to you. So you always have to mind how you associate with other people. And that's something I, I, I also um, have realized. When the, when the Bible, I can't remember where, where it's from, but it's a really popular verse. Uh, it's like, love your neighbor as you love yourself. And before I did, I, I, can't, I felt like I knew what that, that scripture meant. But it wasn't until recently that I realized that you can only love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. You don't love yourself, you can't love your neighbor. You can't. And that's why there's so much hate in the world. Because people don't love themselves. 
if you knew what if you knew your self worth, then you then you understand people's worth too. That's the truth. We need to start holding ourselves accountable. I'm going to go in with this little shimmer color. Y'all can see that. We are too grown to be acting like babies. And you know what the crazy thing is? Kids don't even hold grudges. Kids will fight and they'll forget about it within like the next 10 minutes. But the older we get, the harder it is for us to do that. And everything I'm talking about right now, I'm telling myself too. And like I was talking about before, like showing up for yourself. Don't be afraid to tell your friend that, hey, look, I can't come to your function because I got to do my homework. Or I can't come to your function because I have to um, write up a business plan. Or I can't come to your function. Like, be comfortable with saying that. Okay? You can always support your friend. You don't always have to be there. Like, look at, look at, look at, look at, like, celebrities. Half of their fans have never met them. Yet. They're big because of their fan base. It's okay to support your friends from afar while you're investing in yourself. Don't let nobody make you feel bad. This life that God has given us is a privilege. Don't waste it. Sowing in another man's plot of land. Your, plot, your own plot of land is there. You have not touched it since the day you were born. But... You're at everybody's function, everybody's party. Please don't do that to yourself. I'm just adding like a little dark brown color to just deepen this look a little bit. That's the look right there. Just something simple, you know, like not too. I only use like three colors. It's only my third day out here. Psych. <laughs> but, um, all right, y'all, that's the look. You know, I'm about to put on my lashes. Okay, y'all, so I just put on my lashes. Zero to 100 real quick, girl. <laughs> Let me stop. All right, so what else? What else? What else we gotta do? What else we gotta do? What else we gotta do? Hey. I don't know if I'm gonna upload this video because I don't want y'all to think I'm crazy. No. <laughs> um, alright, so now I'm gonna be going in with my foundation. I love this foundation so much. Yo. So I got like three samples of three different shades. So this is the lightest shade I got. But I feel like this is my shade. Yes, yeah, my shade. Or is it though? Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I think it is. Like, do y'all see that? Okay, next I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Okay, y'all, we back, we back, we back, we back. I think I like this background a little bit more like i feel like y'all can see a lot more of my face and it's just everything is centered okay let's get started <laughs> you ever laugh at yourself sometimes like i find myself hilarious like i did i be in my room just cracking up jokes sometimes i'll be at work and i'll just be thinking about jokes in my head Ooh, another thing I really struggle with is letting go of the past. Like, I like to hold on to people. Like, if I fall out with somebody, especially if we've known each other for a long time, it's really hard to let go of you because we have so many memories. Like, I really remember every single, not every single, but majority, majority of my interactions with people, I remember. 
Mm. But it's okay though because you know you live and you learn. Okay, so after blending out the concealer, this is the first time I'm trying this airspun powder. I know this is um yeah, it's the airspun loose face powder. I know this is like a really popular product in Walmart. Um I actually got this from my friend and you know so let's see because y'all know what y'all know i only use sasha buttercup to set my face but we're gonna try something new today i don't even know how to use this like do i use <laughs> do i use a sponge or do i use my my brush like i don't know how to use this like i'm not used to this air sponge stuff i'm used to sasha buttercup that's what i grew up on mm. okay okay air sponge Okay, I see you. Sasha Buttercup is like $25. Airspun is like 10. My contour, and I use my Sephora, my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum. Some of these products be having like the most scientific names ever, and it's like, bruh, it's just a concealer. Come on, Sephora, we know, we know, we know, we know. Y'all doing so much. So, now I'm gonna blend up my contour. Ooh, I think I added too much, but that's okay. We're gonna blend it out. We're gonna blend it out. Y'all, so I recently got this second job at this boutique store. And I'm so excited because they sell some really cute stuff there. But like, I don't wanna spend. I don't wanna work at a place and then spend my money at that same place. That's the thing about working in a retail retail industry if you're not careful the money you are making from walking there you use it to spend in that same store y'all look at this Ew. this is a good tutorial y'all this is like my makeup came out good today i go in with this color as blush and i just you know cheese up a little bit and get the balls on my cheeks the balls on my cheeks y'all this airspun setting powder is not too bad it's not too bad you know i did its job oh my god where is my shop now hey hey shop now me down so here you are you guys have found it so now i'm gonna line my lips Yo, I recently, I recently learned how to line my lips like over the summer and ever since then, like I've never stopped. There we go, baby. Do y'all see how I brought everything from a zero to a hundred? Period. I'm going to stop. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to stop. <laughs> Can't tell me nothing. I'm not your mates. Please, stop it. Handle yourself. Right. I'm a billionaire. I'm a billionaire. So that I'm going to put some setting spray on. My NYX matte setting spray. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Now I'm going to come back after I do my edges so y'all can see like the full glam. Okay, y'all, we back. Y'all already know what's going on. So, yeah, this is the final makeup look, y'all. Um, Even though I was rambling majority of this video, um, I just got a few things off my chest, like in terms of like a few of the things I struggle with and what I've realized so far this fall semester. Um, Even though I've been MIA for like the past month on my channel, I apologize, it's like, y'all in school and work and stuff but winter break is about to be here i'm super excited because now i'm gonna have a lot of time on my hands to just really you know devote it to my channel and grow my channel that's the final look you guys and i hope you guys like it and i'll see you guys next time bye